Hello. So guys, I got many questions. Like, I'm getting many questions from you and I love to respond to them like honestly and personal and like really deep. And sometimes, you know, I think people have similar questions, similar uh, fears, doubts, and I just thought I gonna stop. So, I'm back. Anyway, I, as I just said, I had this job and I was like really working hard, doing my best and I, I really wanted it and then by the time, like I quit the job after one year, and by the time I just realized that I'm not getting the same amount of energy back as I put in and I'm not happy anymore. And I felt guilty. I felt guilty that I wished to have another life because actually my life was not bad. I had enough money. It was like everything was nice and comfy and blah blah blah. But the thing was I was not happy and I didn't feel this is the thing. I always felt it's the bridge to something but like I'm coming to the end of the bridge and I'm arriving on the other side and so just to another big bridge <laughs> and and yeah so I felt guilty and but but you don't have to like of course you can feel guilty but it's it's the question is you should ask yourself why do you feel like this? Where does guilt come from? Is it like you want to please the people? Because this was my thing. My thing was I was a, I was like afraid to say something and do something and quit a job because I thought that people will think I'm crazy. They just got used to know what it is to work from home and that I'm doing some strange job. So they would be even more like you know, thinking that I'm crazy because I quit this job even now, like what's going on with me and that uh, maybe I cannot stick to things and what am I going to do, like traveling, writing, what, like, you know, and, and what will my boss say, he will not like me anymore, so for me this was like the big thing and then I just realized that, no, I need to follow my heart because in the end, you know, others really care about what your heart really wants. Like, just the little people really do. So it's important that you listen to your heart, that you go with your soul's desire and that you just don't deny it because it's not rational. Uh, it doesn't have to be always rational. So life is fluid and dynamic as your blood is as your breath is it's moving it's not just stopping if it stops it's dead and so so are you like i wish for you to be always curious to be always you know exploring and wanting to know more and being ready because it's that's how you grow that's how you learn things that's how you move forward and and um yeah come like get new experiences just doing the old comfy way and even not feeling it no i don't see any sense i don't see who who this should like serve it's not serving anyone it's not helping anyone it doesn't make you happy and if it doesn't make you happy you don't need to stick to it it was your dream it brought you to this experience you had so probably you'll learn this experience now so it's time to let it go, learn something new, by learning it go, by going over this fear about this um, inner like pressure, about not wanting to feel, or should I feel, what should I do? So it's all learning, it's all learning, so ask yourself what you learn, what you can learn now, and what, 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 feel, what wants your heart, just for a moment, take some time and feel your heart. Because you will feel much better like if you don't push yourself to do something you don't feel like why? Why would you do that? There is no logic in it. So if you want to have it logical, so I think that's pretty logical now. Yeah, so I send you many hugs and dreams can change and dreams are fluid and you don't need to stick to them forever. As in with everything in life. I love you. Mwah.